Good morning. Welcome back to the Gravity Golf Channel. I'm Daniel Lee. Today I'm going to show you the difference in the way that most people attempt to try and hit a plug bunker shot when you're stuck up in the lip versus a much easier way to clear your mass through this shot, taking much less of an aggressive swing and being able to get a much, much higher result. All right, so first I'm gonna show you what traditionally happens. When people get up to, to see this shot, what their, their instinct and maybe even a lot of the old rhetoric or old lessons that they've heard tells them to do. Which you'll see, they'll get up here and they, they try and match themselves to the slope. So first off, they'll get up here, they might step up on here, maybe even go all the way up on top of the bunker here and try and pull at it from the upper body to try and force the distance. And what happens when you do this, if you're lucky, you're gonna get it out. And what begins to happen as soon as you start to pull, you've got gravity and leverage working right against you. It gets really easy to leave these in the bunker or leave them short pretty, pretty regularly. So instead of, instead of making it so difficult and having to fight with the contour and gravity, what we're gonna do is use loft to our advantage. So rather than trying to take a sand wedge, which most people do when they get in the bunker, find a way to get the right amount of effective loft. There's a big difference. See, when I hit that shot right there, I almost had 80 degrees of loft on the club. That means that I have to swing so hard in order to cover the distance that it becomes exceptionally difficult. Not to mention I was in a position that is very hard to rotate. I was not able to continue turning my mass all the way through impact. So what I've got here as an alternative is a seven iron. Now you can work your way up to this, but once you learn how to make the adjustments and to create the needed loft with a longer lever system like this, everything gets much, much easier. So what we're gonna do, instead of trying to match ourselves to the contour, we're actually gonna open up on this to the point that whenever I turn right through my shot, that allows me to turn through impact and release forwards in the direction I wanna go. And there's no, there's no restriction in my hip movement here because of the way that I'm standing. So you see how I've opened the blade here all right, get where I can set up over my left side, feel like I'm in my hamstring, we're good to go. All right, now you see how easy that pops out of there. I didn't even need that much of a swing. So this is kind of a shot where I could go between an eight or a seven really easily. But let's do that again. You see how easy that pops out of there, all right. Right here, put a nice little heave on this. And we're just gonna turn right through. So you see when you, you start to practice this, you see how much of a, a smaller stroke that I actually have to put on it here versus trying to get up here and bash at it with my upper body. You get used to doing this with a longer lever system you're gonna save yourself a whole lot of headache and take some of those really big numbers out of the equation. So get out there, play around with this, get creative, tap into that part of your brain. You'll have a lot more fun. You're gonna save yourself some strokes. Stick around, we'll be back. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching today. We hope you find this information helpful. If you hit the subscribe button, you can follow us on YouTube or go to our website. We have all sorts of stuff on there, including school information. If you try all the uh, gravity golf drills, you'll be amazed at what happens to your golf swing in very short order. They, these drills really, really work. Follow us on social media and come see us when you get a chance. Have a great day. Thank you.